building an indie business in the center of venture capital. I am Alex Edmonds, and this is the Building an Indie Business podcast. (laughs) Okay, so today I will be discussing the benefits of podcasting, but first I wanted to talk about my book. Um, This is a book that is a collection of all the episodes of podcasting that I have done on the podcast. There's extra content that um, I didn't think of when I was writing the episode or while I was recording. Um, You can get the book for free. Um, There's a link in the show notes. Um, Use the code BAIB to get the book for free. Okay, so let's get into the, uh, the episode. The first benefit of podcasting is uh, networking and growing your network. Um, there's three ways you can grow your network. Um, listeners, because they will reach out to you and they might want to help you um, either grow the podcast or help you with the podcast in some ways. Um, another way is by interviewing. So when you reach out to someone and you interview them, they, uh, they become part of your network. And the final way you can grow your network through podcasting is by being interviewed. When you are interviewed by someone, you become part of their network and they become part of your network. Okay. Um, Another benefit that I have found from podcasting is podcasting has taught me to be consistent. So I have my release schedule every Monday um, and I stick to that every Monday for the past year. And so that has helped me be consistent in other parts of my life, like with the open podcast blog or uh, tweeting out the episodes. Um, I'm consistent in those two things as well. Um, No algorithms. Okay, so why this is a benefit of podcasting is because unlike other content creation platforms, uh, there's no sudden change in the way people see your content your, your podcast episodes that causes you to lose listeners. Okay. Um, gain confidence. So, um, releasing content every week, um, to the public and hearing their feedback has helped me gain confidence because, um, I usually think of the worst case scenario. And when that doesn't happen, that, uh, helps me build my confidence up. And then, When I say something on the podcast, um, that helps me be assertive in my claims when no one says, oh, you're wrong or something like that. Um, So as of lately, I've been making more claims and giving better evidence, and that has helped me in my life. Okay, Um, another benefit of podcasting is storytelling. You, oh, not storytelling, learning skills. Oh, sorry. So through, throughout your podcasting career, you will learn different skills. Uh, one skill that I have learned is storytelling. I've been able to um, structure stories um, and make them better. So I've learned how to tell a story to improve my podcast. Another skill I've learned is writing. So I have to write the outline of the episode, um, make all my points, give examples, and that has translated to me uh, writing a blog of those same episodes and turning that those blog posts into a book. Okay, another skill I've learned is podcast production. So I've learned how to edit a podcast. I've learned how to set up a podcast. Um, learned how to interview someone, um, like all the, pr- the process of interviewing someone. Um, yeah, those are just some of the skills I've learned. Okay. The final skill that I've learned from podcasting is promoting. I have learned how to promote products and content, um, to get, um, that content into the, eyes and ears of other people so that translates to other products like my book or um the blog 
or the forum. Okay. So the next benefit of podcasting is that you own the content. So this goes back to um, no algorithms actually on other content uh, platforms. You don't own the content. Like on social media, the social media platforms, they own the content. So they control how you s- or when other people see the content and uh, they have, they can delete any episodes that, not episodes, um, any content that is created on their platform um, on other. When um, you have a podcast, um, a platform, the platform doesn't matter because you have the RSS feed, which you can just give to someone and they are able to listen to the plat- or to the podcast. Okay. Um, another benefit is money. Um, if you have a product that relates to your podcast or you want to accept donations, you can make money from uh, your podcast. Okay. A fi- uh, another benefit is use the podcast to increase your content output. Um, you can use the podcast to create blog posts. You can use the podcast to create content on social media. Like, um, you could describe your pod or you could write out your podcast, um, episodes in different platforms and, uh, leave a link to the podcast so that other people find the podcast, or you can take clips of the podcast, um, turn them into videos and, that's how you create content. And um, why this is a benefit is because um, people will know you and they will listen to your podcast and that might lead to opportunities. Okay. Um, another benefit of podcasting is not having to worry about um, the physical appearance, your, your own physical appearance while you are uh, recording a podcast. So I live stream the episodes. So I kind of, I make an attempt to make myself look presentable, but you don't have to have a camera. This is different from other content creation platforms where they're picture based and the picture might be of you where you have to dress up and make yourself look nice for, um, content reasons okay another benefit is you learn consumer behavior so with a podcast you can adjust your content to satisfy the needs of your listeners this is exactly what consumer behavior teaches you and so you learn to give people what they want Um, as customers or listeners or users and um, that will help you in other places in life okay another benefit is you can become known in your industry so if you are promoting your content correctly people in your industry will find your podcast and that might lead to other opportunities Um, okay another benefit is you have an archive of your content so you can look back and see the progress you've made Um, what i really like about this one is when i start to um not i don't want to say when i start to grow my audience and people find me they might say that i'm an overnight success which i hate uh, when people say that and so having an archive of all my episodes i'll be able to say hey look at all my episodes Listen to my first one. I am not an overnight success. It's taken years. Okay. Um, You get uh, another benefit is that you get a look into the podcast industry. So if you're searching for a product to make, uh, becoming a podcast host will help you find a product to make within the podcast industry. You will find all the problems in the podcast industry or you'll be using products and you'll be able to see how um, you can promote, uh, you can make a better product. Okay. 
um, people will want to interview you. So I find that people I have interviewed get the experience of podcasting and um, the first person they look for to be a guest on their podcast is the person that interviewed them um, because the people I have interviewed, um, they didn't have podcasts and they've said, I want you, I want to interview you for my podcast. Okay. Um, and then listeners, they might want to interview you to understand or like to get an idea to ask you questions about maybe the industry or maybe about podcasting, which can grow your audience. Okay. Backlinks. So um, backlinks give you domain authority, which increases your rank on Google. And so any link you have in the show notes gets posted to a bunch of websites that have domain authority and that will build up that link's domain authority. So if you have a website that you're promoting or a product, if you put it in the show notes, that will build domain authority. Okay. Another benefit is that podcasting um, is a gro- Yeah, the podcast industry is a growing industry. So um, the number of podcasts are going up and the number of listeners is growing as well. So the more listeners and podcasts there are, the more people that can find your podcast and that will lead to more um, opportunities for you. Okay. Communication skills. Um, One benefit that I find is communication skills. I have been able to express myself better than I, uh, I, (laughs) I used to before the uh the podcast i like how i say that and i stumble on that point okay so i'm able to express myself better um because i have been able to structure my thoughts better and um i'm being recorded right now and kind of timed in a way and so that helps me think better uh on my feet and that um is good for some situations that are not related to podcasting. Okay. Uh, Another benefit is um, podcasting allows a podcaster to be experimental with content. Um, Not that you can't be experimental with other platforms, but I think it's a little more experimental in the podcasting industry, or yeah, the podcasting industry. So what I mean by this is I'm able to change things from episode to episode or I can experiment with the length of a podcast or the different formats I use for a podcast. Um, This is uh, especially different for um, social media where it's very structured. Um, You can't really change anything or like the way people see it. What I would love to do on social media is every time they scroll to my posts, like fireworks show up. Or something that changes the screen so they know, hey, this is Alex's tweet. Not tweet, but social media post. Um, So yeah, you can uh, change things around in a podcast, which you can't do um, on social media. Not that you can have fireworks for every episode, but um, people listening to the content and changing it around. And also, I can take my content and put it in other places like I can make a video out of the content it doesn't have to be just audio like with uh, social media platforms you're stuck with video and text and pictures and that's it okay um there's no middleman I have my RSS feed and I can send that to people and they can post it or they can add it to whatever player they want um yeah there's no There's no platform that's saying, no, you can't do an episode on social media, um, like talking about social media. You can't do an episode talking about a book because that um, doesn't help us. There's just the RSS feed and that's it. Um, Okay. Anyone can do it. Anyone can start a podcast. All you need is a, a mic, a podcast host to give you an RSS feed. And you're good to go. 
um, I find that podcasting allows people to be creative. So when I was starting my podcast, the reason why I didn't, before the podcast, I didn't produce a lot of content because um, I only really knew about writing as a way to produce content. And um, I had trouble thinking of what to write about. With podcasting, I am able to uh, talk it out to myself and think of what to say, and it helps me on my feet a little more, be on my feet a little more, and say different things to people. So I really like that. And then, it uh, podcasting allows people to express their thoughts. Like I said, um, I'm able to think of more things to say and content to create because I'm talking to myself, and that helps me. I'm talking out loud to myself. Yeah, so um, the final benefit of podcasting is it's very accessible. You only need a mic and an RSS feed. This is different from, like, radio, which was your podcasting outlet before, where you'd have to spend, like, $15,000 just to get started. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this episode. If you have an interest in starting a podcast, but you don't want to go through all the hassle of setting it up, talk to me, email me, um, hit me up on Telegram, (laughs) talk to me on Telegram. Um, my email is supremerumham at gmail.com. I'm supremerumham on Telegram, on Twitter. (laughs) Yeah, just reach out to me if you would like to guest post about your experience um, in the podcast industry or just anything about podcasting, there's the Open Podcast blog. Same thing. Email me. um, Ask me on Telegram. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.